Joining me now at the Tiger Turf Stadium is the Hereford manager, Josh Cowling. Uh, a match in which Hereford failed to take the chances really today. Yeah, I think he probably summed it up. I, think we, I mean, Harry's had a really good one, hasn't he? Um, I mean, their first goal was, I mean, the cross was excellent, wasn't it? Um, probably shouldn't be free in the box, but you know, you, you can give him that one. Second one, we've tried to switch play in our own box, which is stupid. And then obviously it's turned over and they've scored from it. But no, I think we've had enough chances to at least get something out of the game, haven't we? And it's, yeah, disappointing at the end. You know all about Dominic McHale. You had him uh, on loan at Hereford for a while, or having a look at him, certainly. Yeah. But man of the match performance from him today. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. I thought, um, you know, he gets the ball wide um, and he wins at people. That's his game. And I thought he did that really well to fail. Obviously, he took his goal well. Um, but yeah, he had a good game. So, yeah. But you must have been disappointed that he got seven points from nine and he wanted to kick on and he came up against it again today. Yeah, no, we did. Uh, we spoke about it. You know, you want to come into this game, well, you come into this game full of confidence and, you know, you get a win today, 10 points out of you know, out of that run and you're really pleased. So, look, at the end of the day, before this, before the little run we've been on, we've been in really poor form. So, you know, I've said to the lads there, we've got to bounce back now. You know, we've had three really good games, well, two and a half, where we've done well, we've had good habits, we've pressed, we've done all that stuff. And, you know, we felt a bit short today, but again, you take your chances and you come away with a point, which coming to here, away from home with a point here on this surface, you probably take it. So, but it wasn't meant to be today. You had options on the bench. I thought you might have brought Jack Holmes on. Uh, you know, a player that's sort of short in stature on a, a 4G surface might have been working for you. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. we've obviously brought Ryan on, haven't we, to put an extra attacking option in there. So we put him on, we put Jack on at the end, probably could have put him on earlier possibly. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you look at the second half, I think it was all us. So, um, apart from tapping the ball in the back of the net with a, a couple of things flashed a, a, across the goal, then I, I thought we did pretty well second half. So, yeah, look, they're the options we've got at the moment. Certainly, Gloucester took their chances when they came, and you, and you didn't really as a team. That was the, the, that was it, basically top and bottom story of the game. Goals change games, don't they? So um, yeah, like I said, the, the first one was an excellent cross. The, the second one, we've had options to to, to to clear the ball, and we've not done it. And then obviously we've had opportunities to put the ball in the back in that, and we've not done it, and that's why we've lost today. Buxton away next Saturday, another 4G surface. So you're going to have to look, <coughs> say, go back to the drawing board, but. That's something you must must look at. Say how you can improve results-wise on on these sort of surfaces. Of course we are. Yeah, you know it's obviously a surface that we don't play on every week. That's for sure. So it's a different surface than we're used to. Obviously training on grass. So we've got to look at that. But we're not. We just want to get back to winning wanes. That's the main thing. So you know you don't get winning books done. We've had a good run. So that's what we're going to look to do next Saturday. And you lost your captain Luke Haynes for the next couple of games. Uh, what options have you got there at the back? <laughs> we've got obviously we, we can look at Aaron obviously we can look at Levy there obviously we're going to have a staff meeting this week and decide you know what we're going to do with that and, and, and then we'll take it from there so we'll, yeah because your squad is as it is um, yep. that's what you've got to work with certainly defensively in the next few weeks yeah we'll work on the training ground we'll make sure we get things right you know obviously ideally we want to play ours up top of course we do because he, he's a threat up top and you know if, if we haven't got a better option then he might have to play centre half so that's just the reality of where we are and, and if we've got to do that that's what we're going to have to do How much would you, you think about putting Mark Derricott in the back line? Yeah we can have a look at it I think uh, Mark's a, a great kid he's 19 now for us right now where he is he's probably better off as a full back for the physicality side of the league than he's probably a centre half so unless we change system and, and play a three you know possibly he could go in there then but yeah I, I think to protect him for a start it would be you know if he's going to play he's going to be a full back because I, I thought maybe Levy Andu with you know with his um, sort of ability he might be able to slot in as a centre half yeah exactly so that's something we can look at so if we can do that then obviously Mark can slot in in, in that position and, and play right back so you know they're the options we've got at the moment and we'll work on it in training and we'll look at what, what fits us best for that game Word for, about the fans today, because they were here in huge numbers. Always are, aren't they? <laughs> It'd be nice for us to come here and get a win when they're yeah. here, so that would help. So, no, no, they're brilliant. The single game, they're banging on the drum. Um, our fans are fantastic. They've supported us, you know, through thick and thin this season, um, especially away from home, and, and it's great to see. I think there's probably as many of us as them today, which is really pleasing. So, But, no, disappointing for us, disappointing for me that, you know, we've come here twice um, over the last couple of years and, and not got the result with, with the numbers we've turned up there. So that's probably the one real, real disappointment for me from, from, from today. Any chance of Marco Roos back on loan? <laughs> well, I don't know what well, you're saying. Well, no, Marcus is there any chance of that? Or is the finances, I mean, I don't know what the arrangements are, but whether you pay a percentage of wages, uh, just travelling expenses, whatever, because he was a really bright spark 
uh, for Hereford. Yeah, he was brilliant. You know, for a young 19-year-old the way he is, um, you know, he was probably wise beyond his years. And, you know, normally when you get a 19-year-old from an academy, they're not as robust as what Marco is. So, look, you know, what we'll ask, we'll ask clubs to do is do, do some favours. So, you know, I'll dip into my black book and, and speak to a few clubs and see if they can do some favours to get some players in. Thanks for your time. No problem, thank you.